As for the Clippers, Paul George did what Paul George is supposed to do. You were the franchise player in Indiana, Oklahoma City. You finished top three MVP one year, and you lived in Kawhi's shadow. There was no Kawhi, no shadow, and he was wonderful last night. Here is Paul George after last night's win. It, it was just no secret coming into this. My teammates trust me. Um, T. Lou trusted me. And, um, you know, I thought we just, we, we lived in a moment, and um, we, we just played our hearts out tonight. Yeah, I give him credit. You know, um, he kept him. I, I thought the reason why they won this game is because Paul George was wonderful in the first half. He didn't let the Jazz build up an insurmountable lead at home. They only led by five at halftime. You know, Marcus Morris, he had another great game. He had 25 postseason career high. Reggie Jackson, once again. Terrence Mann, this is what you need. I don't know if Kawhi is going to be able to play in this series. I think that's still up in the air. And I give Ty Lue a lot of credit because I think he's great at adjusting in a game. And if it's lineups, uh, matchups, I thought they exposed Rudy Gobert. Like, it's weird when you say somebody's the defensive player of the year, but he's not a factor. You know, Ben Simmons, oh, he should be up there for defensive player of the year. Is he really a factor? Like, it seems like it's a silly award. Like, hey, he's the defensive player of the year. All right, we're just going to run a pick and roll, and then uh, we'll take advantage of that. We'll neutralize him. And that's what they've done. I have a poll question. Okay. Which of the three teams is kicking themselves the most? The Bucks losing to the Nets without uh, Irving, the Sixers for losing the Hawks, or the Jazz for losing to the kawhi uh, Clippers? Yeah, Paul. I think I'm going to go Jazz. Maybe it's just recency. But the Jazz at home not facing Kawhi Leonard. They've had a very good regular season. They look healthy. Mitchell, blah, blah, blah. And it looks now, like Kawhi may not play in the rest of the series, and they don't have to face the Lakers if they get past the Clippers. This would be a really tough one. I don't think Donovan Mitchell is healthy. I think the ankle is bothering him. I saw that on a jump shot last night where he came down, he winced. He made it, but he, he winced. Um, you don't have Mike Conley in there. But you're at home. You should still beat a Clipper team that is – you know, we, we don't know what Clipper team is going to show up. And Paul George steps up and has a big game. Although I think he's played pretty well. And I even go back to the bubble. I'm sympathetic to this. You know, depression is no joke. And I, and I, and I don't look at it and go, oh, come on, suck it up, get tough. He, he was affected in the pand during the pandemic in the bubble. And he said that. He had to talk to his therapist. Now, you never heard this before from any athletes until recently. You know, Kevin Love kind of exposed us to this, run our test. You know, Brandon Marshall, the NFL wide receiver. And Paul George was honest. He said, look, I'm, I'm having problems in here. And to do what he's doing, and he's played well, um, and, and maybe he continues to play well. Sometimes when you have a better player or the star player, you don't know how to act. Like you're still kind of figuring out what do I need to do? Where do I need to be? And I think that this is something that Paul George is still trying to figure out because Kawhi, you know, Kawhi takes over in the postseason. Paul George, you know, is a complimentary player, but he in his mind still thinks he's an elite player. Now he's proven that recently, but last night he didn't have to worry about Kawhi. It was, I let me just go out there. Let me let me have the ball. I'm going to be the man here. And he played well that way. Scottie Pippen was always comfortable playing in Michael's shadow. Like, what do you need me to do? I'll do it. Not everybody's like that. You know, Dwayne Wade let LeBron take over the Miami Heat. Like, you have to have that. And with Paul George last night, it was just, I don't need to defer to anybody. I'm taking shots. I'm the man. Run ISOs for me. And uh, I'm going to win this for us. And you saw that last night. 